Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Chris, Ron Boots Farm. Trying to make it through all this rain. I don't know where you're at, you're getting rain, but here it has rained for a solid week. Everything's wet and muddy, sloppy. But even with that, I still need chicken feed to feed all the chickens. And the rain. And while I'm at the feed store, y'all can still hear me, I'm gonna see what kind of chickens I got because last week something got into my chicken pen and killed, I don't know, six or eight of my uh, hens and my favorite rooster. Still not sure what it was. I've got some traps out, uh, but it hadn't come back and I've got all the other uh, chickens that are left locked up in the middle pen. Man, this rain is something else. I should have gotten the boat instead of the truck. But anyway, something got in and killed uh, all of my hens that had just started laying. I had six Rhode Island Reds that I had bought from the feed store that were already a couple of months old and they had just started laying. We were getting eight or nine eggs a day and something got in and killed all the one of them and they killed my favorite red rooster upgrade which I've seen in some of the other videos. A rooster that I got from Jack Spirico over the Survival Podcast about four or five years ago. So that was a bummer. I wasn't happy to see that, but I think I figured out where whatever critter got in there got in. So I got them all moved over into another pen until I could fix that. And I think I got that one sealed off. They've been okay for about a week. Nothing's came back and got them. So I'm hoping that that, that took care of it and then I'll trap whatever it was and get it hauled off. So. We'll see, it could be just the rain that's keeping everything uh, under wraps. Whatever it was may not have come back just because of the rain, so. But I'm hoping that's not it. So anyway, we're headed to the feed store. Hopefully we can get there before it completely drowns us out. Get some chicken feed, some hay, and uh, see what kind of chickens they got. If they got a box big enough to hold them, but small enough to fit inside the truck here, because they'd probably drown in the back before I could get back to the house. So we'll see what they got. It's a little change of plans. It's headed to the feed store and I got a call and my daughter wanted some donuts. She's got a friend over and I just asked them if they wanted some breakfast before I left. They said they didn't want anything, but then they decided they wanted donuts, which I don't know about y'all. We try to do our best to uh, eat healthy food, but when your daughter calls and wants a donut, if you're like me, you go and get the donut. Of course, that meant I had to get one. I can't eat a donut without drinking a Dr. Pepper, so I got that too, which I didn't need. Any of y'all struggle with that? It just seems like, uh, I don't know, it's hard when you're, you want to you wanna eat good, want to eat healthy, you know you shouldn't have it, but dang, they make those things taste so good. Donuts and a Dr. Pepper, man, you can't beat that, at least in my opinion. Anyway, it's Saturday, it's rainy. Feeling bad about all my chickens dying, so I'm gonna eat a donut. Actually, I got a cinnamon roll today instead of a donut. And my Dr. Pepper, and I'm gonna head to the feed store. See if I can't get me some more chickens. I had to pick out some that were about the same size. I wanted to get some more uh, leghorns, uh, but the only ones I had were pretty small. I didn't want to get chicks. I had chicks, but I didn't want to have to raise them in the brooder right now. It's still winter here, so they have older ones. This feed store always has some older ones outside in a big pen. So I wanted to get some leghorns I had, but I figured they were too small to put in with my other, uh, and there's some big potholes here, put in with my other chickens. So I ended up getting two Rhode Island Reds, two Barred Rocks, and two Buff Orchids. So we're going to get them home and get them out in the pen, 
get out there and just dump them out like I normally do. If y'all seen my other videos, I normally just put the chickens out there together. I've never really had any problems. I know a lot of people wait till night time to do it, but I'll just get out there and dump them out and stick around for a minute and make sure they're okay and go on about my business. So we made it home. It's too wet to drive back here, almost got stuck. So I'm having to carry these chickens back here to let them out, and then I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna get that hay back into the barn. It's just not gonna be fun toting it around back because I can't drive. So. I'm just dumped everybody out. I'm not sure that video took. They're out. Let everybody else out. See how this goes. Like you saw, a few pecks, but nothing too bad. Give everybody some food here. Let them all get full and happy. Happy as they can be, and they have to walk around in a monsoon. But... I put a little extra food out, so there's plenty and no one's fighting over it.
So that all went well. Six more chickens added to the flock. I think I got everything sealed off uh, to whatever that was that killed my other ones. Kind of made me sick. I did make a video about it last week because like I said, all that work and you hate when you've raised something and you look after it and it's one thing to, to process them and butcher them and make use of them to eat, you know, have something good to eat for your family. But when you have an animal come in and feel like you didn't do what you needed to to protect them, it's a whole different feeling. So hopefully, like I said, got everything sealed off uh, to where they can't get back in. And I do have a trap set out. Uh, so hopefully whatever does come back, I catch it and haul it off somewhere away from here. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. And I'll sing it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, K, K, O, N, O, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C, D. Next time, won't you sing the moon? <laughs> <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and uh it's left her dark normally i just catch uh, my chickens and put them in out of the chicken tractor in with the other ones during the day but um, it's a little hard to catch these guys so since i got the other ones from the store today and put in there i thought i'd try to grab these guys at night throw them in the box and take them on out there so we'll try to get that done now chickens. Get everybody in here in the coop. Not doing too bad. I'm gonna turn this light off here. This heat lamp I just turned on so I can see a little bit better. I'll turn it off and then hopefully when they wake up in the morning, they'll all think they're just supposed to be here.